All right, so let's talk about Nicola. This is the monthly chart, and price is near all-time lows. You could say price is near, and in this accumulation zone, could say that price is in the process of forming a double bottom. Levels of interest. Let's look at the weekly chart. Again, near that 50 cent level, all time lows. Near that dollar level, resistance, support support resistance and you can see for the week for the back holders you're green however the question is are we just pulling back for the next leg lower now before we look at this price structure and I give you some levels of interest. Let's look at this article. So one of last year's most troubled companies isn't showing signs of a turnaround. Nikola doesn't have much further to fall after losing 72% of its value over the past six months alone. But this week, the company received a non-compliance notice from NASDAQ for failing to trade above the required $1 share threshold. So if you want to be listed on the NASDAQ, you need to show is it 10 or 20 days? You gotta be below, you gotta be above that one dollar threshold. It is a requirement. This isn't the first time the exchange has warned Nicola that is in danger of being delisted. In May of last year, the company received the same notice. It's hardly surprising that Nicola stock hasn't been able to demonstrate any real growth, but this news should be a warning for investors who still can't see the big picture. This means stock will only keep falling until NASDAQ gives it the boot. Now it could take the Mullen Automotive route and do a reverse stock split. It probably has done so already. Uh, but that's a short term fix. As once price spikes, you usually see the next leg down. Since the charge of the fraud took down Nicola founder Trevor Milton, the company has continuously proved unable to bounce back or even come close to its high prices of 2020. While Milton's conviction likely tainted the company in the eyes of some investors, stronger firms could have rebounded and clawed their way back. Unfortunately, we have seen the opposite for the company whose finances remain highly questionable on a good day and truly discouraging on a normal one. Alright. So, this is the daily chart. And my eyes gravitate to this level here now a couple of things to note you had a couple of basin candles and then you had the leg down the leg down took out the previous all-time lows however it wasn't on the strongest of volume if I extend the zone here you know this wick is saying that there are sellers above not in this zone here so it's not an A setup just a level of interest to see if price can take out the say the 75 cent level again all your moving averages are pointing down this is the 50 this is the 26 this is the 13 this is the 100 and the 200 sits at about a dollar 20 so personally I'm expecting another lower low that would be to retest 
the all-time low so that would be to form a double bottom that would be to see if price can hold this 50 cent level longer term your RSI is below 50 typically if you're below 50 you're in a downtrend above 50 you're in an uptrend so again another confluence indicator to look at to denote and fortitude that potentially price will make an all-time low thanks for watching subscribe please like the video